transgender woman missing after layover at DFW airport. A family is asking for the public's help as they search for a 59-year-old transgender woman who vanished during a layover at DFW International Airport. Pauline Del Mundo was last seen on September 14 as she started a trip from her hometown in Tampa, Florida to Cozuma, Mexico for a 10-day vacation. Family members told, our sister station in Tampa, that in the midst of her travels, she called her sister to tell her she changed her mind and needed a plane ticket back home. Lily Aspen, Mundo's sister, sister said she sounded incoherent and depressed during the call. Family members said since a layover at DFW airport, Mundo hasn't been seen or heard from since. We were alarmed, Asabron told. We tried to reach her on her cell phone but her cell phone was dead. Asabron believes Del Mundo was dealing with pain from a recent rotator cuff injury, which was interfering with her job as a certified nursing assistant. She's a hard-working woman, she always worked overtime, Asabron said. But she was still having some pain, some limitation of movement, so she considered herself disabled and I think that's why she started getting depressed. Asabron said it was an unusual disposition for their otherwise bubbly sister, one of 12 children in their close-knit family. As the search of Mundo continues, two of her sisters traveled to North Texas to meet with a DFW airport detective investigating the case, reported. Mundo is Filipino and described as 5 feet 6 inches tall with long brown hair, brown eyes. Anyone with information is asked to call one of these numbers, middle dot Lolita del Mundo Gaviola at 813-357-4741 middle dot Yolanda del Mundo at 646-829-8830 middle dot the Philippine Consulate in Houston at 346 256 Four five double two middle dot the Philippine Embassy Washington at two o two three six eight two seven six seven middle dot Dallas Police Department Missing Persons Division at two one four six seven one four two six eight family members said recent violence against transgender women in the North Texas area has added to their concerns. Friday, the 35-year-old transgender woman was shot late in the evening in the 11,000 block of Dennis Road in Dallas. The victim survived and told police she was walking along Dennis Road when a man pulled alongside her and yelled a number of slurs regarding her gender identity. The man then fired several shots, which struck the victim in the chest and arm. The case is being treated as a hate crime. Before the victim was identified as a 35-year-old woman, Aspen said her family was worried it could have been Mundo. We were afraid it was our sister, Asabron said. There's a lot of things going on in my mind, which I don't want to think about. In May, Miley Sabuka, a 22-year-old transgender woman, was found shot dead in a Dallas street. A 33-year-old man, Kendall Lyles, was later arrested and charged in her homicide, as well as two other shooting deaths.